Hello YouTube, welcome to Drake Array Gaming. Today we're going to be talking about how to build a Discord. Have you ever wanted to start one? Chat with your friends, build a little community? Maybe you're starting out streaming and you want to know how to start your Discord. Uh, so today we're going to be covering all the basics real quick on how to get your Discord started. As usual, no BS, no fluff. Here we go. Welcome and first thing you want to do is obviously download the app. So go to discord.com. Here's the link right here. Check it out. Go through some actually, like go through this page real quick because it actually really is helpful. You can just click download for Windows if you want. But, uh, you know, it kind of talks to you a little bit about Discord if you're unfamiliar with it. An invite-only place with plenty of room to talk. Discord servers are organized into topic-based channels. You can put voice channels. You can put text-only channels, things like that. Organize it how you want. Uh, hanging out's easy. So here you can see voice channels and you have, look at the uh, Dungeons and Dragons night, study room, just chilling. Um, you can see up here, you can ask people in the study group chat room asking for, hey, do you got any notes from today's class? Things like that. So it's not just gaming. You can actually set up for all kinds of things. Movie night and streaming movies with your friends, things like that. But really cool stuff you can do. So um, from a few to random actually means you can set the number of people that are allowed in each room. So you can actually set a, a cap limit on the amount of people that can go in, in each room. Now there's a free version of Discord and there's also the Nitro server stuff, which offers a tons of more flexibility and options to use your emotes and emojis that you upload on different servers, things like that, applications. So once you get it installed, um, this is actually my Discord that I, that I use um, and my server's here. And you can see like, when you see these servers, it gets pretty overwhelming with, with, with all these things. They got the rules and the welcome screen and moderator only channels. They got all these game rooms and there's uh, icons, emotes, emojis. There's, here's the cap limits I'm talking about, like four max for this Warzone quads room. Warzone trios room has three max. Um, and then, you know, you can lock down rooms. You can see these ones are locked and it's uh, my private live stream channels and things like that. Uh, so this is what I use, but when you're just getting started out creating a new server, you want to actually after you create your account and log in and download the application, you want to click the add a server button. And when you go in here, you want to say, you could start from a template and they actually, which is really great because you don't have to start from scratch. And you can try that and uh, see if it, if it fits you. Um, you could say for a gaming discord and for a club or community for me and my friends, say a club or community. Uh, I can call it Draco Ray's test server. Let's go test server. And we can create it and you can upload an image right there from on, on the fly. And so what it does is it gives you a couple rooms to start with, like your general room, your clips and highlights room, your lobby channel and your gaming channel for voice. And you can see voice here with the speaker on the left. And you can see the hashtags ones that are chat only rooms. Uh, when you join these ones, you'll obviously see uh, me in there. You can mute yourself, deafen yourself, do a few other options. Um, now that's how you can get started with a template. Now, if you actually don't want to start with a template, let's go ahead and just, uh, I'll delete this server later, let's create a new one. Let's say create my own channel for a club or community uh, we can just put test server two, and you can create, you know, upload your image if you want. We can create that. Um, so here, you just here, so here it is basic. It doesn't have the lobby or the gaming room or the other chat channel. It just has a general and general, and it's blank. And there's nothing you can really. There's nothing much to it. Uh, but what you can do is actually, uh, you can add rooms by clicking the plus sign, and you can choose to add a text channel or a voice channel. Uh, so say I wanted to add another voice channel, and I wanted it to be a particular game, like say Apex Legends. You can do that just like that. You can make it a private channel by clicking this button or not. We're gonna leave it as an open voice channel, Apex Legends. We're just gonna create that ch ch channel, Apex Legends. And what you can do now is with the edit channel uh, button here, you can actually make some changes to that. So say it's a three person team, right? So maybe you only want three people in there. You can say three users, you can change the bitrate quality of it, and you can add different different things in here if you'd like. Um, a lot of, th something that I like to do and add is um, adding like little emotes or emojis. So. Let's do gun, emoji gun, and you want to copy it so the pistol emoji is always fun. You can copy that, and you can just put it in there. Control V, boom, and you hit save. Three character limit, 64 kilobit bit rate, Apex Legends with a little gun. Hit save, hit escape, and now you got a nice cool room that's open for people to play Apex Legends in with like a three uh, limit person to it, um, uh, team. And so you can create all these voice channels kind of like I did on my server, right? So I just kept adding game rooms and emotes and, and adding the amount of people that I wanted to be allowed in there. And I kind of, and I can even change the title of the category here. So if we go back to my test server, uh, you can set up voice channels. I believe you can actually edit the category and you can actually put game rooms. And we'll hit save and we'll hit escape. So now I have a game room section, which is great. Um, and if you ever want to go back and make a channel private, uh, I think you can go to permissions and then private channel. 
And when you make a channel private, um, what you can do is actually add members and roles. Let me actually go back to my server since this one doesn't have any members right now for our test server. If you go into my server um, and say I wanted to lock down this AFK room, you can go to edit channel, uh, we can go to permissions, we can go to private channel. And what I can do is actually add uh, members or roles to this channel on who are allowed to actually do things inside of here. So I can actually go to any one of the people that are in my server and I can add them in there. And depending on what role they have, um, you can set, you know, who's allowed to actually use this room. So I have different roles set up like Draconian Army and uh, members, uh, moderators. And so you can add the role that you need to actually be inside of this room and be able to manipulate that room. And um, anybody with that role, say, um, you know, moderator, uh, now moderators can enter this private room and if they're a moderator you can choose what they're allowed to do and what they're allowed to not be able to do uh, using this hash this X and this mark here so um, I can say yes they can do it or no they can do it uh, different things like that so those can seem a little overwhelming but they're they're really not um, and what 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 really helps with it is to have full control over the rooms who can go where who can do what right and so if you're starting if you're just starting off and we're going back to our test server um, we've already made uh, a, a general uh, a gaming room uh, with a general chat. You can even change this, say, to lobby. It's very easy. You can say save. And so now we have a lobby chat channel and we have Apex chat channel. In our game room section, we have text channels. Um, you can change this one, say, to a welcome page or rules, actually. Rules is really good. So you can do rules. And what you can do is post your actual rules in here and lock it down. So like a lot of people will lock this channel down uh, for the server uh, moderator only. They'll lock it down and they'll save it. And then just the actual server owner here is us. And what we can do, it's locked now. You see this little locked uh, uh, icon here over the hashtag. That's how you know it's a locked channel, these little locks. I like actually adding emoji locks to it. I think it helps a lot um, and, you, and you can do that. And it helps a ton. Um, if you want to go to your main server settings, you can actually go up here and you can rename your server, upload your image, choose your server region. Um, you can create those roles that we were talking about, add colors to them. So, which is really great. You have to have members, obviously. And once there's members in, in, your, in your server, you can add those roles. Let me show you another example on my personal server. Go to my server settings. We'll go to, uh, let's see, roles. So you can see the roles here on the left hand side, we have a lot of bots, the army members, moderators. So you can choose a color for that role, like this one's purple currently, and then choose what they can and can't do, right? So like draconian army members can do certain things that uh, like say a member or a moderator can't do. You can just turn on and off all those features for that role. And then what makes it easy now is when you have those rooms uh, and you click edit channel permissions, you can assign that role to those rooms, lock them down, set it up however you want to, which is really, really, really cool. So I just wanted to make a quick video on the basics of how to kind of like start making rooms, start making your chat channels. Um, you can use mine as an example. It's not the greatest, but a lot, I took it from examples of different streamers and pros and other people I know with Discord. So I started out with a rules and moderator only channel where I post things and updates for uh, people like community updates and rules for the server channel. Uh, we have all our video, our voice chat game rooms with all the emojis and emotes loaded. Um, there's a lot of cool other cool things you can do, um, even uploading uh, your own emotes and things and emojis that I've, I've, I've started recently adding here. And if you want to be able to use those on other servers, you'd have to upgrade to a Nitro server. So there's certain things you'd start to see where I say, hey, maybe I would like to pay for a Nitro server, have increased features and things like that. But just starting out, though, there's a, it, the free is absolutely fine. There's a tons of things you can do. This is a free one here. I don't, pl I don't pay for this. Um, we have a general room where we chat and we have a different memes that we post and uh, our PC specs. We'll have uh, our loadouts and, and, and things like that for games we play. It's all really, really cool. And then I have my lockdown room for when I live stream so nobody jumps in and accidentally starts saying something across my stream I don't want them to say or anything like that. So I really hope this video helped you guys out. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell. We have a lot of fun on the live streams. Comment down below. I would love to see what you want to see next on this, like a part two or any questions you guys have. I'll try to answer all the comments I can. I'm Draco Ray Gaming, and I'm out of here.